Hi, I'm Paul Robbins, and here's something you may not have known about agriculture. Can you name a food named in the Bible that's really an additional food choice for one of our favorite vegetables that's great on green salads? Well, cucumbers are great on green salads, but cucumbers also give us a bonus food when it comes to <laughs> sweet and sour pickles. And if you're like me, you never really gave much thought to pickles when you're standing in the kind of an aisle of your favorite supermarket, but let me clue you in, pickles have a fascinating history. Set the Wayback Machine to 2000 BC and farmers in India take some of their precious cucumber seeds to the Tigris Valley where, boom, somebody comes up with the idea of preserving the resulting cucumbers in brine. Soon cucumbers are sprouting up all around the Mediterranean and pickles become very popular. Some historians claim that Cleopatra credited a healthy diet of pickles for her good looks. Aristotle praised their healing effects and Julius Caesar fed pickles to his troops. By the 15th century, pickles are a popular condiment all across Europe. Amerigo Vespucci is said to have outfitted sailing ships with barrels of pickles to help prevent scurvy by providing a source of vitamin C. By 1820, commercial pickle packing was underway in America, assisted in 1858 by John Mason, whose mason jar made pickle packing easier. Many people swear by the healing effects of pickles, claiming the brine balances the chemistry of the body and fights bad bacteria. A note on pickling grammar. Uh, any food can be pickled, but a pickle, used as a noun, refers specifically to a pickled cucumber. Uh, more than half the cukes grown in America are made into pickles, and whether you flavor them sweet or sour, we like our pickles. It is estimated that more than 25 billion pickles are consumed each year in North America. That's more than 100 pickles each.